welcome to my son. Yep, that's right. It's another Dollar Tree haul. So it is Thursday, August. Fudge. Third or fourth? <sighs> fourth. Already? Good wow. night. Um, again, we had to go back over to Lafayette and pick up Miss Jalinda Lou. One more day and then no more driving to Lafayette for us, I hope. Um, so, guys, pray for them. They're, they're trying so hard. They got a brand new baby. She started this brand new job that is extremely taxing at this point. It's extremely physically hard. Two separate shifts. Michael Moo, um, our son, her husband, is driving from Lafayette home. When he gets off work, he gets home at like 2 o'clock in the morning. And it's a, how far is it, honey? It's an hour drive. It's, I don't know the it's miles. It's almost 50 miles. It's one way. Yeah, one way. So he comes home. She has to be there by, I think, 5.30 or 6 for her training. So he comes home. He eats supper. Helps with Becca for a little bit. Gets her up. Takes her back over there. And then comes back home to take care of a baby. He tries to get some rest himself so that he can get back up at... He has to leave the house at what time did he say? 2.30. 3 o'clock at the very latest in the afternoon just to start it all over again yeah he's constantly he moving. bless his heart um so we're we're proud of both of them um and just to give you guys an update on Jaden, i know this is a dollar tree haul but it, it, it's kind of small um just to give you guys an update on our youngest Jaden, he is actually working where my brother works he's not tool and die trained but he is learning tool and die skills so we're pretty proud of him. Uh, he actually took my husband in there yesterday and was showing him what he does. He's all proud of it and excited. And so he's making strides in life and, you know, on a path started for... Started driving. He just started driving. Finally got his permit. Bless his heart. That was a struggle and a half for him for some reason. But he didn't want to do it for years. Yeah, he didn't want to do it for a long time. And then when he started, finally started, finally wanted to... He, for some reason, struggled so hard taking that test. And our son, Jaden, was never one to struggle with testing. But anyway, <clears throat> long, sort of long story. Going to go short here now. He's doing... Short story long. He's doing better. He's driving. Just got his permit and has started driving. And is, you know, looking forward to that freedom. And he's getting more relaxed about it. He had extreme anxiety. So anyway, um, just... All of that to say, we were in Lafayette again today, <laughs> and we went to a Dollar Tree over there, which I have this set up backwards now that I'm looking at it. I'm a dork. Anyway, so I'm going to show you what I got in Lafayette today, since I started talking about Lafayette, and that was what the whole spiel is all about. Um, the last, we went to the last Dollar Tree they had, so in all total, we visited three over there. It was weird because it was a much bigger store than the other two, but it didn't have any fall or Halloween out. Like, nothing. Yeah. Like, they still had the, this, the shore, what was that, shoreline, shorescapes or whatever it's called, you know, all the ocean and, and water-based decor. They still had some of it out, quite a bit of it out. So, anyway, it was weird. I did find some stuff I have been on the hunt for, though, so I was super excited. Hubby really likes this. Um, I really do want to make the, like, frame this and have it as an art piece over there, hopefully. I really need to get something done with that wall. This is the one wall in our apartment that I have not done anything with, and we've been here over a year. But it is this map of the world. Um, it's a wallpaper decal, but I will not put it, or, yeah, it's a wall decal. I will not put it directly on the wall. I learned that lesson in our trailer. This stuff will peel your paint just so you know don't don't let them tell you oh it, it's wall no it's not wall safe it will peel your paint but that that is what it looks like another item that's one of the items i've been on the hunt for at least eight months if not a year and then another item i've been on the hunt for for a while and now i'm kind of wishing i had gotten two of them but it's okay because i'm going to make it like a a border around the play area that part of the play area are these alpha stickers and I just love the coloring I love the shape I'm gonna try to open it all the way without tearing them 
Did you guys know you could do this with these sheets? You can spread them open, right? Like this. So anyway, it is this set of alphabet stickers. Super cute. Love the colors and the theming. Yeah, and it's 99% like travel stuff. I didn't even realize that at first. Trucks and cars and Trucks stuff. and cars and boats and bulldozers and... Very boyish. Very boyish. Shocker, I was geared towards the boy stuff. Um, you guys have seen me haul these in a variety of colors over the past years of me doing these hauls. Or these beautiful fans that Dollar Tree gets every year. I still have that purple, my last one that I have, my purple one that I bought. It's just, I don't know where it is. The, the problem with living out of boxes, sort of, is you, sometimes you just don't know where stuff is. So I wanted to put this back in the van, um, have it in the glove box, which is where I had the last one. Because we don't always use the air conditioner. And I do take, I take this off. I don't like the tassel. It just bugs me when you're trying to, because I actually use it for a fan. If you treat them nicely, they hold up very well. Uh, my purple one I have had for five years, I think, or maybe even more. And like I said, if it weren't for the fact that I can't find it right now, I would still be using it because I used it all the time. Um, a kind of silly item that we did need is some more baby powder. This one's made with pure cornstarch. It is not talcum, so don't yell it to me. But when you this size, this is a necessity. So there's that. Um, another wish list item I have been on the hunt for for a long time is the galvanized metal mason jar on the stand on a shtick. Uh, really wasn't sure what I was going to do with it until I found this guy. And then I think one of them might be going on here. Maybe not. I don't know for sure. I might make this into a little, um, because I have some magnets I want to make and it'd be cute to put little magnets on it and the kids could play with it. I don't know. We'll see. It's an idea. So then you guys also saw my little <laughs> glass jar decals that I found. Um, and if you don't know, I got it because it has flamingos. I love flamingos. They're cute. So there's that. I don't think I have seen anybody haul these. I kind of wish I could have found more. So now I am officially on the hunt. I want four more of them. Can hubby tell me why? Uh, make a box out of them. Put uh, a, a hinge on them. And, mm -hmm. okay. But what am I going to put in them? I want four Pictures more. For the kids? The grands. Yeah. yeah. So I think this would be really cute in front of the TV. If I could, you know, do the, the hinge thing and have them. Anyway, so I'm, I'm on the hunt for four more of those. I also bought two of the skid palette thingies, whatever they call these. Some people are calling them coaster palettes. I'm going to be doing a fall decor with these and decide to go ahead and get them. I wasn't going to, but then I decided, you know, I haven't seen them in Kokomo in forever, so get them while I see them. Um, another item I've kind of been on the hunt for, but kind of not, but then I saw this and yeah, see, that fell up pretty easy. Awesome. <laughs> it's going to do that anyway, but... Alright, so it came with this on it. I don't like those. So, this is <laughs> what it is. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to put here. I That pink flower was not cutting it for me though. So, <laughs> we'll see. I am going to try to Disney-fy it for those of you that are shocked at that. There we go with that. Well, you could you could turn this circle into ears. And well, make, I thought make about it, but the, he's saying put ears here, but this, what am I going to do with this? paint over it with the same color paint I and could make, sand it make down. his face down I there. could sand it down and wood fill it and paint the whole thing. That's yeah. a good idea, babe. So, Thank there you. we go. I love him. I keep him around for some reason or another and there it is. I don't know why it is, but I'm appreciative So, I finally broke down and bought the Buffalo Check vinyl paper. Yes, I know using this in a Cricut is a bad idea. I don't have a Cricut, so that's not a worry. But, do you see that? I literally plan on make, using this for that kind of stuff. You put it down like, you know, instead of painting, you put down the buffalo check and do what you want on top of it. Hubby gifted me this bad boy yesterday, or day before, whatever day that was. And so I'm going to be using, hold on honey, I want you to put these over there too. I'm going to be using that paper to make, 
several different DIYs. And then our stores have not had any of the bonus buy stuff. I've been so mad because I've literally been waiting for these. This was the only pack I found in the bonus buy blue. I wanted the blue, not the aqua, not the gray. I wanted the blue. But it's these little containers. Um, I'm sure hubby can attest to how much I use them when we're on trips. Uh, earrings, Q-tips, cotton balls, cotton swabs, band-aids. Uh, for Seth Kyle, we might use it for his pressed pennies. Or I might get another one of those little zipper pouches like I got for my cord for his pressed pennies. I haven't decided yet, but I do have that on my thought processes. And crayons. I mean, the list is literally endless what you can use these for. Um, if you have, like, my craft area, I've got one that's got little screws and nails and stuff like that and it little hinges that I pull off of stuff. It's just, they're fantastic to have around. I, honest to God, do not know how many of these I have. I probably have 20 of these floating around the house. Between travel gear, craft storage, kid storage, you know, all kinds of stuff. Love these. Grab them while you can because that is a steal of a deal at three for $1.25. It is still an amazing buy. Okay, you guys probably saw, hopefully you saw, in one of the previous Dollar Tree hauls from this past month, from this month, from August, um, three jars that my husband found for me, and I was bummed because I wanted a fourth one, and I was pretty sure I wouldn't find one. Well, guess what I found? Ah! So now I just need to order the lights off of Amazon that I want to put in here, and oh, that thing that we bought, those two things that we bought, you didn't bring those in. I don't know what you're talking this, about. The, the baby thingies that we bought. Oh, okay. I'll go get them. Sorry, honey. Not your fault. Um, so, anyway, yeah, I was stoked. And they were kind of buried. I think that's the only reason they were still there because they were like, they were on a lower shelf and they were back a little bit. There's Somebody only was hiding three of them. them. Probably. There was only like three. I feel bad now if you said that. There was only like three of them there. And then there was also a what they call a JPEG one of those hanging strips of all kinds of random stuff hanging right in front of them. So I hope I didn't screw somebody else's plans up and I hope you can find one. If I did, I didn't mean to. I just know that I saw them and so I got one and I'm sorry and I hope God blesses you. Okay, so anyway, there's, there's, I know I sound really sorry now, right? So anyway, that is this Dollar Tree haul. There's one more coming up for me. I am not doing the stuff that hubby bought. I'm going to let him do his own haul. So if you want to see that, I will have the video linked down below. I'll have his channel. His channel is always linked down below. Go check him out. He does planting stuff. He did a, we're, we're attempting, it's not really a bucket garden, but like a container garden. It's not being super mega um, fruitful in its um, success, but he's just learning how to grow stuff. His focus was to figure out, can I even grow stuff like this? And he can, he's doing really good at it. So anyway, I, make sure you check out his channel. It is always linked down below. I will see you guys in our next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.